All right, then. Welcome back to some Battlefield 5. I did not think in the year 2022 I'd be playing Battlefield 5 again, but um, I decided to come back because a lot of people on that 2042 video that I posted where I was saying that I didn't... I did fire that shot, didn't I? I did fire a shot there, and it says I've still only got five rounds in my internal magazine. Whatever. I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> A lot of people said in the comments that I should come back and give Battlefield 5 another go just because it's no longer the main Battlefield game. And just to sort of see and like compare and contrast between 2042, and where that game currently sits, and Battlefield 5, which, you know, at, at the time wasn't considered a, a very good Battlefield game. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd come back to a little bit of sniping, you know. One thing I'm already immediately noticing, and this is something that actually Battlefield 5 didn't start off very well with is the audio. The audio wasn't particularly brilliant to begin with, uh, but DICE actually improved it during the life cycle of the game, and then it was sort of closer to what Battlefield 1 was like, this really, like, harsh-sounding uh, experience, like, quite a lot of bass in it, loads of screaming soldier voices everywhere. It got better as time went on. It, it definitely got better as time came on, like that grenade. Nice little hit. Oh, got the kill there with the grenade. Hit as well. I have to dip for that one. Do a quick reload here. I say quick. <laughs> bullet by bullet reload. Oh, the headshot. Oh, God. Jesus. Wow, I just got absolutely ruined by that guy. Is that the same guy that killed me earlier? I don't know. Am I going to get a res here? No, that's the entire enemy team. <laughs> The entire enemy team running past there. I don't think I'm going to get a res, unfortunately. Got to spawn on A and try and hold this. This was always difficult to hold because it was a single uh, objective point. Always pop the flare. I do remember that. Because you never know. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Love them snipes. Such a satisfying sound. I remember that again from the BF1 days. And it was something that they did transfer over to BF5. <laughs> Such a satisfying headshot system. I, I will admit, in 2042, the headshot stuff is quite satisfying. I will admit that. There's definitely an ambience here. Uh, there's definitely uh, a much more of a feeling of war than, uh, than what I get in 2042. I feel like I'm actually part of something bigger. And no specialists. We are mere classes. Well, I mean, there are some elite soldiers, or whatever they were called. I mean, that is that's quite terrifying. If someone ran up on me and looked like that. But we are classes. We are, look, sniper. Um, support. That's an enemy. That's a nice hit, actually. Couldn't get the finish. Sniper there in front. Oh, ouch. Yeah, but we are classes. Individual classes. That's an assault class. A couple of assault players. That looks like another support player. Can I pop another? I can't pop a flare. I, can I pop a flare? Can I res this person? They still got the, the squad revive mechanic, which I quite like. That is one good thing that I think they introduced into Battlefield. Every class can revive every class, but if you're not a medic, it takes twice as long. I quite like that. We actually lost that sector. I remember this. I remember the playtest at DICE in... God, Jesus. Um, October 2019, I flew over to Stockholm, and I got to play Pacific early, and I remember this bit here... There was so much fighting. I even forgot you could build your own cover in this game. And they didn't bring that to 2042? Like, the amount of maps that could do with cover in that game. And I could just make my own. Like, in Battlefield 5, I remember it being really cool. Because you could build up little walls around objectives. And you could hold different angles and stop sight lines and stuff like that. But in 2042, the maps are so big. And there's so much... No, there's so little cover. You could really do with some more. Oh, hello. An enemy medic. It's me trying to actually mark someone and spot someone there. Using the button that I would spot someone in Warzone with. <laughs> and I can't even spot people in this game because that was one of the major things that they took out. Spotting was taken away. Did this guy die? He did. It's fine. Don't worry. I'll build a wall. I can't res you. Because I think you got a headshot, so I can't res you. And 
because you're dead, none of that can be built. You're in the way. Needed to pull that aim up just a touch. Sniper. Still a guy in that bush there, I think. I'm not sure, you know. Where am I being shot from? I don't even know. Oh, there's a tank over there. And there's a sniper. Oh, hello. I'm pushing. I've got to take this guy. No! The gun sounds in this game are very good as well. Where'd they go? Oh, you went down there, you sneaky devil. Gotcha. A bit punchier than what they are in uh, in 2042. Got a little bit more bass to them. 2042 sound quite tinny. It's, it's still the absolute king of audio in Battlefield. It is Battlefield 1. But but after the redo for, for Battlefield 5, DICE got close. That level that they had. Hello. That just un me. Oh, is this, the, is this the problem that Jack was having? I think it is the problem that Jack was having. Like, I'm using a Logitech mouse and keyboard. And sometimes he was telling me, like, when he was playing Warzone and stuff, that, uh... It would just, um, it would just, like, scope him out, or, like, he'd be in the middle of, like, a fight, and it would his keyboard would just stop working. So I'm not sure what that actually is, but oh, we've lost the sector. This is not good. We're going to have to go back into the caves now. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Since we are going into the caves, I think, I think I'm going to go back to the STG. I think I can, dude. In weapon inspect. Yeah, look. There you go. STG weapon inspect. Looking good. Oh, God! Jesus, that tank. Oh, it's the flame tank. It's the flame boy. Move out of the way, dude. Everyone's here. Pick up some more of those rockets. Thank you very much, good sir. No. Oh! No, 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 no. Yeet! Oh my goodness. I, can't, I literally can't see, I can't see a thing. Oh god! Uh, let me run forward, game! This keyboard thing is ruining me. Okay. Right. Jesus. There's the, there's the flames again. Oh, see, I thought there I might be able to... Uh, might be able to get him. Jesus! Have we got any smokes? Have we got anything, any, anything at all? The auto lean function is cool. I like that. That's not in 2042 either. Oh God! Yeah, we're definitely losing this one. Oh God, he's right here! <laughs> uh, I'm just. Oh God. <laughs> oh my god! Lobernade! That was an underarm nade. Oh god! Wow. The the prone actually helped there. Oh, they're running past. They're going up into... Oh, we lost the sector? Are you joking? Quickly reload here. Oh god! Where'd that other guy go? <laughs> Lob a nade up there. You never know. Cheeky. Oh god, it didn't reload. Oh god, no. I think it's because I was in the middle of reloading and I chose to throw the grenade. <laughs> I think I just ruined myself. Right. It's the final defense point. I wonder if we'll survive. There's a tank coming up over here. Right, I've given myself some cover, which is the main thing. There we go. So if anyone... There we go. Oh, God! <laughs> What's my cover? Let me put it back. See? This is good. In 2042... If you're out in the open, 
and there's there's no possible there's no possible way for you to get behind cover. At least in Battlefield 5, there were placements where you could be like, right, I can hold this position. This is fine. In 2042, you can't do that. You just can't do it. I just realised, like people can call in a V. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the V1 rocket, but <laughs> it came right into my face. That's what she said. Got men coming up the corners. Flames. Oh, God. This is just... <laughs> this is incredible. Like, there's none of this in Breakthrough 2042. Like, oh, yeah. Let's go to the top of a skyscraper. Right, this literally is our last stand, isn't it? So, I, I guess... I guess I should probably take it a bit more seriously. So, I've gone full medic. So, I can hand out all the, all the heals. And then I can get everybody back up on the objective. So we just got more people up here than they have. This is a cheeky spot. Whoa! Jesus. This is a really cheeky spot. You can... I didn't know you could flank this way. Cheeky. Very cheeky indeed. Just put smoke down there. We've actually cleared out this part. There you go, there you go. Pimp named Doggy. <laughs> Great name. Okay. Wow, that went really far. Have all the heals. Take the heals. Oh my god. Self-heal? Yeah, I'll take that. Don't worry, dude. I'm coming to you. There we go. You're up. God, where are they? <laughs> you take that. And then you take that. You got the Flieger Faust. Look at you. Absolute boss, man. Okay, we have to res these guys. Get them up. Get them up. Get them back up. Get them back in the fight. No. Can I res you? I can. Yes. I'm dying a lot here. Uh, admittedly, I am dying a lot. But you know what? I'm having fun. Because I'm not taking it anywhere near as seriously as I used to take this game. Sunny Tater! There you go. Sunny Tatered. So much smoke, I can barely see. Oh, the double kill. Let's go. <laughs> Did he throw his heli? <laughs> Not heli. It's plain. Uh, going down the hill. I'm doing it. The flames? I can res you. There we go. I think we pushed them quite far back, you know. We have. Yes. Love it. That's what we love to see. Yes. Got one. The other one's seriously hurt. <laughs> Run into the chamber of death. Yeah, we've got about 100 tickets left. I reckon we can do this, you know. I believe in my team. My team believes in me. Oh, the triple, baby. Let's go. Definitely going to die now because I can't run up the hill. <laughs> Uh, that's a Japanese sounding V1 rocket. That doesn't sound like the American one. <laughs> that was cool. The Japanese one's got like a much more of like a, a jet engine growl to it. That's what it sounds like to me anyway. Anyone coming for a res? Yes, son. Yes, Captain Birdseye. Thank you so much. And now there's a barrage coming in. You have that. That's an enemy barrage because it's got a red flare on it. Wow, that plane as well. So cool. Here comes the rocket. <laughs> now that's Battlefield. That is Battlefield. And then another barrage of rockets coming in. Six tickets. We can do this. We can so do it. They're on the point. Captain Birdseye, don't worry. I'm going to save you. Heels, heels, take them all. We've done it. Yes. <laughs> Wicked. The music at the end, the crescendo of all the action, the rockets, the team play. Do you know what? Maybe I treated Battlefield 5 too harshly. Maybe I did. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little throwback. 
and um, I'll catch you all very soon.